morning, my loves, from sunny, actually quite windy today, sunny but windy, Greece. Welcome to our holiday vlog. Oh my goodness, it is our first morning. Noah has just gone down for his morning nap, so I thought I'd pop on and say hello to you guys. Um, we actually arrived quite late last night, like by the time we got our flight, got to the airport, got our luggage, transfer, and then Greece is two hours ahead of the UK. So by the time we got to the hotel and got in our room, it was actually like 11.30 p.m., so quite late. Um, and silly old me I was thinking, okay, Noah's had a long day. He's gonna be so ready for bed as soon as we get in the room. He was wired, guys, like the most hype I had ever seen him. He was like crawling around the room, loving life. So we didn't actually get to bed until about, I think it was about 2 a.m. Like it was a late one. Um, we're feeling quite tired this morning, but it's all good because we're in Greece. We're gonna have a lovely day. For today, are we are gonna explore. We're gonna explore the hotel because obviously when we got here last night, it was dark. Um, our room is so nice. I'll give you a room tour soon. I need to tidy it because it actually looks like a clothes nappy and bottle bomb has gone off <laughs> so i'll give that a little tidy later give you guys a room tour um but today is going to consist of exploring where we are we're going to head down to the beach because the beach is literally opposite our hotel we also have a supermarket you guys know one of my favorite parts of holiday is looking around the local supermarket i just absolutely love it so we're gonna head over there, which is also across the road. Like it's a really convenient hotel. That's why I picked this one. Cause I just feel like with Noah, I just, I wanted convenience is key guys. Just convenience just makes our lives easier. Does this hat look okay? <laughs> I had it on this morning. I actually took it off before I started chatting to you guys. Cause I love it. But it's one of those hats where, cause it's quite big and it, it almost like doesn't fit on my head properly. Like this is a size medium to large and it's almost like not going on my head. So I'm thinking, do I have like an extra large head? Um, but it's one of those, you know, we just feel a little bit conscious. I'm a bit like that with hats. I'm not really a hat person. I wish I was, but every time I wear one, I'm a bit like, it feels really like, it feels like I have got a parrot on my head or something. Do you know what I mean? Like something that everyone's looking. Also, I wanted to give you guys a little airport update. Um, so it went so much smoother than I was expecting it to go i was really trying not to worry about taking Noah on a plane one of those things that you can't control um you never know how it's really gonna go but i do feel like the thought of going on a plane with a little one is so daunting um and when we were in the airport as it was getting closer and closer to our departure time i was a bit of a nervous wreck but it actually went so well he was such a good little boy in the airport like there was so much sitting around and waiting and he was so good um, he had a lovely long nap on the plane. We kept him entertained with his toys. We had his iPad, lots of little baby bum downloaded. And yeah, it was so much smoother than I thought it would be. So this is your sign. If you are worried about going on holiday with your little one, when you get here, it's so worth it because seeing his little face light up this morning when he realized there was a pool outside our room, was one of the best moments ever he was so happy like he literally was like he was so happy this is your sign don't be nervous don't worry about things you can't control says the one who was worrying about things that she couldn't control yesterday but anyway my loves get yourself your favorite drink get cozy it's not actually too hot and jamie was like this morning oh it's a bit cold and i was like i mean who goes abroad to a hot country in the hope that it's a little bit cold I just hate being hot. Um, I'm trying to bring the cozy vibes to Greece. So yeah, it's like, I think it's like 21 today, but there's a nice breeze. It's just like my perfect weather. So I'm very happy about that. And yeah, really looking forward to this week. And I hope you enjoy our first holiday vlog. Hi, look who's just woken up from his nap. <laughs> oh, he's waving. Hi. Hi. He's still in his little sleep suit. <laughs> Hi! Aww.
Now he's asleep again. <laughs> um, we have had a lovely beach morning. I couldn't really vlog too much on the beach because it's so old. <laughs> Did she not hear me? <laughs> Did you even open the door? Did he just crawl across the floor? Yeah. Yeah. As I was saying before Jamie gave me the fright of my life. Um, I couldn't really speak on the beach because it was so windy, like so, so windy. It's not so bad um, in our hotel, obviously, because it's like quite built up. Um, but on the beach, it was just like, you guys would not have been able to hear anything. Um, but we had a lovely time. Noah is honestly his happiest on the beach. I've never seen him just so happy. Like he was kicking around in the sand. He kept looking back at us like going, ha, 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 laughing. It was so cute. Um, but then he got very, very tired. So we've come back to our room. Just had some bar snacks. I had a Caesar salad and some fries. Jamie had a hot dog. A very dry hot dog, wasn't it? Because I forgot to get sauce. Um, but our plan for now is we're going to go for a little dip. Because the pool, let me show you guys, is literally just here. Have you got anything to say on our first holiday? You haven't even said hello yet. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. We are Welcome to Greece. I don't know why I'm whispering. Guys, this pool is so cold. I'm kind of used to it now because I've just done a lap. Um, but it's freezing. And it's like salt water. I hope I was watching me lick the pool water from my house. This car is literally just inside the door and we can see the car. And I keep seeing his head like go from side to side. people watching from the pool. There's nothing quite like it. Look who's awake. Hello. Good afternoon. He's waving. Nice of you to join us. Are you having a lovely holiday? Are you? He looks so great I know. He looks so old. Evening. 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 Oh. oh, he's dropped his toy for the millionth time. There you are, darling. <laughs> oh, hi. What's that, Mama? Hi. Oh, oh. He's just learned to say hi, guys, and it's he's the cutest hand. thing. Oh. There goes the toy Daddy, again. He he's literally learned. Day. How can he? He's been so happy. Well, last week, you guys, we went over to the um, kids' pool, which Noah loved. He was oh, having the time of his life. He does love water. Oh, he was crazy on the beach. He was, and in the water. He absolutely loved it. Um, so, since then we've just had showers, now had a bath, we've got a spa bath in our room. Didn't he love it? He kept <laughs> pressing the jets. The <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah, the he's only one, on, like... He was like, <laughs> so taken aback by it. So, guess what we're doing before we go for dinner? We're only going in the bloom soon. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's, let's have a browse. about to film and then I realised what these were. <laughs> I, what I was about to say is, I was about to say I need to get my mum a key ring so I get her a key ring every single time we go anywhere. Why Definitely that? won't be getting these. <laughs> so I think we'll go for a more um, PG version for mum. Maybe this one's nice. Actually, she loves the sunset. <laughs> so I think, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not getting it shot. I think I'm gonna get her this one. Another one of my favourite pastimes is seeing what different ice creams are here. What can I see? What can I see? A Cornetto? Love. Oh, those Ben and Jerry's ones are really good. What else? Hmm, Calippo. Love a Calippo. Where's the screwballs at? Ooh, what? Fantas, do we have? I can see a green Fanta. What's that one? Exotic. Oh, strawberry and kiwi. That one sounds delicious. I'm going to get a few of those for the fridge. What are those? Capri Sun Bubbles. They look nice. Also, Fanta Berry. Jamie, look at that bag. I need it in my life. I say this. 
It's got loads of different cuts on. It's how exciting my life is these days. I got excited to see what nappies they have here. <laughs> Ooh, a biscuit holiday. My fave. Oh, they look so nice, those cookies. Yum. I love the ones with like the big, oh my God, what are they? Like Oreo cookies, they look really good. Oh my God, everything looks so nice. Snack haul incoming. As I was saying, I love the ones that are like, where are they, I can't see any. They've like got a big thick chocolate filling. Oh, look at those orange ones. Yum. Oh, these are the ones I'm talking about. So nice. Milk a galore. Got all these different ones. Oh, what's this? Some kind of like sweet, like Smarties one, is that? Oh, I love the strawberry one. That one is my favorite. Jamie, crunch. This was our after swimming chalk. Anyone else? Jamie's found some nice looking nuts. These are actually called peanuts, look. A little story, Jamie calls every single nut peanuts and he thought that every nut was just called a peanut. Peanuts. Like instead of cashews and pistachios. Noah, he's dancing, wow. Oh, these are like my favorite. Oh, they're well nice. We had those in Santorini. Oh, wow. Wow, wow we. Let's try them, should we try them? Yeah, get one of them. No agrees. I'm gonna get a strawberry one too, cause yum. Is that a multi bag or a giant bag? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, surely no, not. Is. No, it is. Wow. Dorito goals. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> oh, these are my favourite. Got the goods. Snack haul. Incoming. Dinner, Noah's asleep again. How many times have I said that today? Every single time I'm like, no, it's gone for a nap, Noah's asleep. So it's time for snack haul. We've got quite a lot. First up, the biggest, I mean, look at them compared to my head. The biggest bag of nacho cheese Doritos you ever did see. How many grams is this? 420. That's huge. The ones at home are like 200. What do you call the cheese that's not yours? Nacho cheese. Love a cheese joke. We all love a cheese joke, don't we? Ooh, I'm excited about these. Tem... Temmata? Strawberry secret. Do you want to try one? This is basically what we do when Noah goes to sleep. Snacks. <laughs> Work on the dad book, don't we? Don't open it. Well, no, we've got to do bits at a time. I'm not even like... a snack tester. A snack taster. What am I saying? I've caught a little bit of something. You actually have. I thought that earlier. Sorry, these look like this. I've they always... smell amazing. There's a lot of snacks in here, to be fair. I want a snack tester, you first. Okay, here we go. It's a commercial. Mmm. Well, it's like a strawberry Oreo. So mm. nice. I'm not sure on them actually. Really? Yeah, they some strawberry first and then it's like, but then they're just like that. I love those. That biscuity bit. I'd always. say 9 out of 10. Actually coated peanuts with sesame. Mm. But it doesn't say what they're coated with. It's like a syrupy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Goodness. Sweet. I'm expecting them to be like syrupy sweet. You know, it's like you glaze. I'm trying to not make them go. Everywhere. Ooh. Go ahead, take a couple. I just hate working now. <laughs> Cheers. Yummy. Nuts. They're actually really nice. Mm. Cheap taste. They're exactly snack picker. What I hoped and dreamed they'd taste like. Mm. Taste healthy for me. They're so crunchy and sweet. Mm. So nice. I love mm. these. It looks these like good. a bit of me. Mmm, the smell. Strawberry. Oh. These used to be in pick a mix called Strawberry Dream. Thank you. Thank you. What they, what they used to be? They used to be in pick a mix called Strawberry Dream. 10 out of 10. Yeah, the best they're snacks. Attempt. These are the best snacks. They are they're 10, aren't they? Yeah. They're, they're unreal. Oh, they're vanilla. 
<laughs> We've got nerves and cherry cake. <laughs> Why did you get that? Mm, this is like a giant croissant. Look, I'm not a professional video presenter. I am a professional taste oh. tester. Smell it. What do you smell? <laughs> Be quiet now. <laughs> right, everyone. Here we go. We didn't quite for the rip. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, that was underwhelming. It's not even okay. <laughs> Sorry, let me in here. It's as dry as a bone. <laughs> dry as a bone. <laughs> Wait for me then. I'm taste testing. Mmm. 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 I'm taste testing now, but. Oh my goodness, that cream. Have you tried the cream? Wow. That is the nicest thing I've ever eaten. I know that I've said that about everything, but I really mean it. <laughs> you enjoying these snacks? Mm. Ooh, that looks more like the picture. Oh my goodness, look at that. I like the flakiness. I like the layers. The jam is delicious. The cream. Like <sighs> this looks good. This taste test is getting out of hand. I can't do it. I can't do that. Should we save that one tomorrow? Let's show you. You've got to give people what they want though, Gemma, and they want the taste test, right? So this is one of these, it's got like cookie crumble vibes. What on earth are we thinking? We can't, okay. we can't try one. Sorry, Jamie, but come on. <laughs> that is literally, look, no, sorry, no, I'm sorry, no. 425 Jamie! <laughs> no, but do you know what? Listen, do you know why they do that? Why? Here's a fact for you. Scam you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely sad scam you. No. No, you think if that was just in there like that, yeah? In transport, that would get crushed to pieces. It's tight like that, so it would all get crushed. Mm. So they, they put it in a bigger bag and put air in there, so it's got a bit of padding to stop it from getting smashed up. Now we know, guys, while crisp packets are always empty. Oh, that's a one. Is there anything better than when you open a bag of Doritos and you get that like pure scent of cheese? Yes. On a, on a separate scale though, because they're quite a standard snack, aren't they? Mm. Imagine actually just seeing someone sat there just snacking on this gigantic bag of Doritos. <laughs> anyway guys, this is what our evening is going to consist of pretty much. Um, no, we're actually just saying we might go to bed. <laughs> We will catch up with you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? Just like your slightly burnt face in the corner of the screen, just eating this gigantic bag of Doritos. <laughs> Don't mind me. Like, I bet it's well annoying, like the crackling. You know when someone's eating on them on the boat. I love the sound of someone eating. Anyway. Well, in that case, you're welcome. <laughs> Parenting hack. <laughs> Bring a slinky with you on holiday and attach it to a chair. It provides hours of entertainment, doesn't it, Noah? He's been loving his slinker, but now you're loving the camera even more, aren't you? Oh, Daddy's not done your top up properly. Look at you. Look at you. Your buttons aren't done up. Good evening, everyone. Hi. Hello. It's a lovely... Oh. Noah. I'm missing a tooth, am I? No, they look all good. They look all good. Hi. Hi. <laughs> now the next day, it's actually the next evening. We're just waiting for Dada. He's in the toilet hiding. I'm sure he says he either needs the toilet or needs to cut his toenails just to like hide in the toilet for a good like half an hour. <laughs> Who needs to cut their toenails on holiday? Isn't that like holiday prep that you do before? It's a lovely day, haven't we? Hey, we've had a lovely day. We spent most of today actually on the beach, which 
I was hoping to bring you guys along for, but it was so windy on the beach. Like, oh. windier than yesterday, which I didn't think would be possible. So you wouldn't have been able to hear anything that we were saying. We've had to move. I've had to hide you guys on top of the dressing table because vlogging with the tripod in Noah's eyesight it's never gonna go well it's never gonna go smoothly because all he wants is the camera and he will do anything to get the camera so we're having to hide he is just here the parenting hack of trying to occupy him with a slinky isn't much of a hack here he is Hello. An hour later, just got to cut my toenails. Yeah. I said, I'm sure this cutting your toenails, kneading the toilet, is just an excuse to hide in the bathroom for a while. What from? The sun. The sun, yes, the sun. <laughs> just realised I've got a nappy next to me on the dressing table. What in shot? That looks like Dada's Dada's nappy changing. So, plans for this evening are, as I've mentioned, we are all-inclusive, but we're going to break the rules tonight. We're not going to go to the all-inclusive buffet. No. Because we're facing a bit of a, it's not a problem, but basically Noah is used to having his dinner about five, yeah. and then he goes to sleep about seven. The buffet doesn't open till half six, so by the time we go to the buffet, he's like tired, like past the point of hunger, like an overtired, like not wanting to eat, being a bit silly tired. Um... So tonight, we, when we went for our walk earlier, so we walked along the beachfront earlier, we saw this really cute, was it a restaurant? It was like a yeah. bar restaurant with like fire pits, looks really nice. Um, so we're going to go over there a little Hopefully bit earlier. It's half friendly. Four. Yeah, I didn't, it, see the thing is, it was like loungy chairs and fire pits. They didn't, it didn't look very like, I couldn't imagine a high chair being there. Do you know what I mean? It looked cool though. It did look cool. It gave you like IB the vibes. It, yeah, so we'll see if we can get in like, with um, Noah. We might have to hide him. Bohemian vibes. We'll smuggle, we'll smuggle Noah in, put him up my dress or something. Also, I was going to say to you, if you are planning on going to Greece, Crete especially, like around this time of year, I said to you all Crete that I... <laughs> yeah, I said to you all like I'd probably be sweating in my knitwear. It's cold. Like I was, we were cold last night, weren't we? So I bought Noah like some knitted bits, no, me some knitted cold. bits. I think yesterday was cold. The wind is cold. Jamie lives in a t-shirt and shorts. So come and bring some knitwear pieces. I'm very happy to be on holiday and wearing knitwear. You guys know me. There's, um, if there's not a breeze, but just to add. Yeah, it would be nice. If there, no, when there's not a breeze, like if we're in a complex where there's not a breeze, it's lovely. Yes, it is. <sighs> Jamie's gone outside with Noah for a moment. Just a moment of peace and quiet. So I'm pretty much ready to leave. I've done my hair in a slick back pony because it's windy. Actually the first time I've worn makeup, I mean we are only on day two, but I didn't really plan on wearing any. Um, you guys know me, I just, I never really wear makeup. Um, I just, I like to be comfortable. Actually with Noah, I like to just, I haven't got the energy. I've not got the energy to do my hair and makeup. Um, but this evening, I just wanted a little bit of something because my tan on my face is fading and I feel a little bit like, just a bit bedraggled. We didn't get much sleep last night either. I'm not even gonna talk about tiredness because I'm sick of hearing myself say I'm tired, but no, I was awake like every 45 minutes last night, which was hard. <laughs> This morning, Jamie and I were like, oh my God, we're zombies. On my face, I've got the Bobbi Brown face base. Oh my goodness, this is the only moisturiser I ended up bringing. And it's so nice. Even just wearing this alone brightens your face, brings it back to life, especially if you're tired, sleepless nights, you need this in your life. Just popped on a tiny bit of the Refi bronzer in the shade Sand. I love this. I use it with the Refi brush, this side, and I literally just blend it all over my face just to give my face a little bit of bronziness. Or blush, fancied looking like I was a bit sun-kissed, even though I have been under a towel all day. And I've popped on a tiny little bit of the Refi blush in shade Peach. This is a lovely, like, orangey peach. Perfect for holiday, and I use this end of the Refi brush. This is, like, one of the best brushes I've ever had. Um, and I've just like kind of dabbed it on, put some on my nose so I look like I've caught a bit of sun, but really, I've been under a towel. There's the lip liner all over my lips in the shade Blush. This is like a lovely, like a bit of a light pink. And over the top, 
some of the Charlotte Tilbury lip oil because my lips are so dry from the plane and that is everything and I popped on a little bit of mascara and I'm ready to go. I want these chairs at home. They're so nice. So we're on the beachfront. Noah's just having a little browse at the menu to see what he'd like for dinner. He said he would like mayo shrimps. Mayo shrimps? Wow. Good choice, Noah. Let's look at my drink. It's in a coconut cup. <gasps> Jamie, it's an actual like gut cup. I need one of these at home. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know you. Love. I got a pina colada. Uh -oh. Jamie got a lager, no which no one wants. Just a little guy relaxing in his first beach bar, <laughs> eating his Cheerios. <laughs> you having a fun time? Are you I having a good time? So, it's like proper, so chilled. Really lean back in there. I'm just watching the waves, guys. <laughs> this is the best. This is such a parent thing to say, but this is the best high chair that we've had. Like with the table. The other ones that we've had haven't had the table, and it's been a bit of a nightmare because he's had to eat off the side. Where and are we? we are at, where are we? We're at this place. If any of you guys come to Crete, I very nice. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Okay. <laughs> just waving to everyone. <laughs> Hi. This food has just arrived, which I think we're going to have to help him with. <laughs> we ordered him <laughs> some chicken. chicken skewers, which are a little starter because we thought he loves chicken. So I think we'll help him with this. I'm just, just going to put that on there, which is also in there. <laughs> party ring. <laughs> chicken and party rings. They just threw it on the floor. Yep. Looks delicious. Noah's just seen a cat on our way back and he's doing this, which is what he does to Tilly and Teddy. <laughs> Who's that? Hello, Mr. Cat. Is that your new friend? No, Tom. Oh, Tom. Hey, Tom. Nice to meet you. I really, really no, want to stroke him. <laughs> Hi. No, you're just having a little chew on your old leg. You don't want to know me. Not the fleas. We've had a lovely meal and we're going to put Noah to bed because he is very tired. <laughs> so we'll see you in the morning. Uh, back in the room, I've just washed my face and I just wanted to show you my little holiday root evening routine. My little holiday evening routine. So my face is due a bit of a tan, so I've literally just exfoliated it just to get off any old tan. But I feel like going in and out the pool and in and out the sea has really helped it kind of just come off naturally. But I feel like it just needs a little bit of top up. So I've just popped on some moisturizer. And then I'm gonna take some of my Filter by Molly Benny and I'm gonna pop it on my mitt. And then I use this like, this is from Iconic London. It's like a really, um, I think it's called a buffing brush. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but it's like really dense. And I feel like this just really blends your tan into your face so nice and it doesn't go patchy at all. Just so easy to blend it in. Looks a little bit crazy right now because it's always super on my voice. <laughs> Doing my neck and my voice is kind of wobbly. It's always like quite dark when you first put it on, but obviously when you rinse it off in the morning, it just goes a really nice colour. Oh no, it's just seen me. <laughs> Guys, look. <laughs> Hi! There's glass in between the bathroom and the bedroom. Hello! Oh my goodness. Wow! Hi! Hello! Hi! Oh, careful! Wow, that's a beautiful face, darling. So that's my face done. Then 
my hair honestly guys if you're going on holiday anytime soon and you want like the most effortless hairstyle you need one of these in your life so good so literally every evening before bed i just pop this in it takes like five minutes it's so quick and easy and i wake up with like you know like fresh curls basically without having to curl my hair so oh, i've missed a step i've missed a step everybody so dry hair you can use it on like freshly washed hair but i do find that mine tends to go a little bit frizzy so what i like to do is like blow dry my hair first from moroccan oil leave-in conditioner you can use literally anything you can even just spritz your hair with water you know just to make it a tiny little bit damp um but i feel like this just makes my hair really nice and soft so i pop some of that on and then i take my heatless curl uh <laughs> i'll link this one down below it's really good you can get super cheap ones, you know, from like B&M and Home Bargains and stuff, but they're, I've watched lots of reviews on the old TikTok, and apparently they're, they're not the same, like they're really uncomfortable to sleep in. And I just take little sections about this big, you guys probably all know how to do this already, um, and then I just like wrap it, so like each bit of hair, I just add, every time I like come round with this bit of hair, I add some more, like this and I like try and wrap it as tight as possible as well then you'll find it won't move about in your sleep and then when I get to the end I just take one of these like soft hair bands I use the slip ones and just tie the end of my hair really tightly around the bottom just to make sure that it's held into place a little bit like this i used to leave them like this but i found the curls just weren't as tight as i like so now i take them and i twist literally as tight as i can and then at the back of my head like this i will just tie them together like that and then i'll sleep like this and it's amazing because it's so comfortable to sleep on like you really don't know it's there and then you wake up with lovely curls and it's just so quick and easy perfect for mum life you know and you just want your hair to be done when you wake up I'm just going to give it another spritz with a leave-in conditioner and guys that's my my time is up I need to go and get Noah to bed now so i hope you enjoyed my little quick and easy holiday evening routine if you don't like to tan in the sun and you don't have time to curl your hair i will see you tomorrow <laughs>
And just like that, it is the evening again. We have literally spent today pretty much by the kids' pool all day long. This time you saw us, we were in the pool just outside our room. Then we went for lunch. Then Noah had his nap. Then we went to the kids' pool. We've all just had showers. I've just washed my hair, slowly drying to resemble Hagrid. I've just had the speediest tidy of our room i think i've ever done like i was i was whizzing around this room like like a thunderstorm is that the right thing to say like a whirlwind i was quick guys um finally a room tour for you on day three because our room has looked like such a tip <laughs> for the past few days um which i've really been this sounds really like pathetic, like I need to get a bit of a life. But I've really been trying not to be stressed about the fact our room was so messy. You guys know me. I am such, such, such a, like a tidy space, tidy mind person. And just stuff being everywhere, I feel like my brain has been foggy. And I just feel like a huge weight has been lifted that our room is now tidy. And as I'm saying that, I'm like, Gemma, get a grip, you're on holiday. It really doesn't matter. It's so hard to keep it tidy when you're in a room with a baby that has so much stuff. So I'm going to give you the grand room tour. Also, this dressing gown is my favourite thing ever. It's a hotel dressing gown. And why are they just the best thing ever? Like, they just... I feel like you can't buy these. <laughs> They're made out of, like, something special. They're just so nice. Anyway, I'm going to go to the... I'm gonna go to the door so I can, actually I'm gonna go out the door. Just make sure there's no one out there. There are people out here, but I don't really mind. Okay, let's go out and I'll give you a proper room tour. Welcome to our room. So, we go in. We've got all of our suitcases down here. Close the door. First up, we've got this jazzy little device here which i'm i'm still trying to work out <laughs> you can like change all these different settings you can put sleep mode on and all the lights go off it's pretty cool um do not disturb you know if you don't want to be disturbed okay that's how we turn all the lights back on i've been trying to work that out for the past three days now it looks really obvious that it says master on off <laughs> so this is what the room looks like as you come in then over the side we've got ironing board then we've just got some like storage space which we haven't used i had every intention to unpack but it's just not really happened have popped a few bits down there oh and the hotel came with these slippers oh my goodness they are my favorite they're like a, a slider slipper and i absolutely love them they're so comfy to the left we have the bathroom which looks like this this is my bottle washing station, which is actually like so convenient because I can just wash them and then pop this on and then pop them on this little wooden sliding thing to dry them. I've been using this to wash the bottles and it's been really easy. Um, so yeah, that's my bottle washing station, how times have changed. Um, we've got all our toiletries over here. This is brilliant, by the way, guys. You know the toiletry thing that i bought from amazon it's just so nice to have it like hung up so you can see everything then we've got a shower over this side the floors are very wet because like i said we've all just showered and got ready for the evening toilet in there telephone by the toilet so you know if you want to if you run out of toilet roll or you want to order some room service very convenient <laughs> um bath and yeah this is what it looks like really nice bathroom then going out of the bathroom we head in to the bedroom which looks like this this is the biggest bed i've ever slept in in my life it's absolutely huge i think this must be this has got to be like a queen size like look how far apart mine and jamie's cushions are little devices either side of our um bed as well which i wish we had at home because at night you can turn on and off your bedside lamp it's just amazing dressing table area over here a light up mirror 
TV. Then we've got our little bottle making station basically. <laughs> I had to go out and buy some more formula today because we've almost run out of this already. Noah has been drinking so many bottles, double or almost triple the amount that he has at home. So I had to go and get some more. Um, which I was a little bit worried about, like using a different brand of formula when he's had this one his entire life. But I'm sure everything will be fine. Um, just got some water, got our snacks, drink making station, fridge, bin. <laughs> and then if we go out here, this is brilliant because it's like a separate little bit, which is basically the nursery slash playroom. <laughs> Let's not even talk about that. That's my case. It's chaotic. Let's just pretend it's not there. So we've got Noah's cot in here. Usually this would obviously be like a little living area with your sofas, um, but it's just perfect for Noah's cot to be out here because we did actually have the cots next to me for the first two nights. And last night was the first night we actually popped him in here. He slept so much better. But yeah, this is like the little living area got his little toys on here and then through here we have a swim up room which is just I mean look at that wow and then we've got our little patio area a little drying rack over here and then through this arch oh it's so beautiful I love it out here We've got our little sun chairs over there and then a swim up pool, which has been so convenient. Like when Noah has his two daytime naps, we can just come and relax out here, go for a little swim just outside our room. And yeah, it's been so lovely. So nice out here. Your plans for the rest of the evening are, it's about, I think it's about quarter to five, is it? 10 to five. Um, we are gonna go for a lovely long walk along the beach and we're gonna find somewhere else for dinner. Another chilled evening of no makeup and I'm gonna leave my hair to dry. So yeah, gonna get dressed, go and meet Jamie and Noah and then we are gonna go and find somewhere to eat. Look at this cool dude. He's safari guy tonight. He's safari guy. Look at this hat that my mum got, it's so cute. Love your outfit, don't wreck dad's sunglasses. Oh no. Oh dear. You look cool. You look so cool. Noah and all his animals. He wants the sunglasses back if you oh. can't tell. We'll do our favourite trick now, guys. Are you going to do alright? I'll do it, look. No, I can do it. Don't worry. He's got it. First time I've done that. Not very um, yeah. pram friendly. Okay, we're out for our evening stroll to find somewhere for dinner. Look at the sea quickly. There's the front of the hotel. This is our view, front of the hotel. Who can see the sea? I can see the sea. So nice. This is the best is weather we've had. The sea? Is that the is it the I have no the idea, Aegean Jamie, sea? what sea that is. So yeah, we've decided we are going to rent a car tomorrow. We're just heading there now. Um, and yeah, I think that'll be really fun. Where are we going to go? This, I do this thing where I test the water with Gemma. I was like, Gemma, I've put down a deposit on a car for the day. That's what he came back to the room when I was giving you guys the room Look tour and told me. What does this, by the way? Well, I put down a deposit on the car for the day. Like, oh. I was like, oh right. So you were like, how long for us today? You know, right. Then I knew that it was the go ahead. He hadn't really put down a deposit. He was just testing me to see um, how I'd react. And I actually quite like the idea. Well, my first thought was, are there car seats for Noah? Don't worry, I've got that squared away. <laughs> so he's already checked that there's car seats. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Nice did you just say mama? He, he actually did. Did you just say mama? He's just saying mama. Did you say mama? Haven't you? Mama. Hey. Mama. Hi. Get them legs away, you. Mama. I love you. <laughs> he, um, the past few days he's really started saying like mama, 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 mama. And dad, he goes, dad. It's so cool. Anyway, we're going to go trying to teach him to say mama. He's in his cock going, Mama. That was Bubba. That was nearly Mama. <laughs> I'll take it. Bubba, Mama. I don't mind. We have booked our car for tomorrow. I went for a Jeep. I'm very excited. Yeah. I've never actually been in a Jeep. And we've been given a map of the places to go tomorrow. And then head off on our travels. Exciting. So exciting. It's a, it's a good 
price as well. Well, there's 80 euros for the day, which I actually think is so good, like for a nice day out yeah, to do something like, a little bit different. The car's like two weeks old as well. Oh, it's going to be lovely. I'm excited. Moments passing away I've never seen before You held me out of the dark I always Wow, cool dude! <laughs> Wanna try them again? Oh, oh that snap. was close! <laughs> snap! Whoa! Wow! Whoa. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Look at Noah's little outfit today. I love these trousers, they're so cute. Dad, I called them clown trousers. They're just the shape of them. I think they're cute. Yeah, they're quite baggy. <gasps> <laughs> Happy Saturday. We have just been for breakfast. Oh, really? <laughs> it was really smiling. Morning! Morning, Chicky. And Aww. we are just about to go and pick our car up. And we're going on a little, little road trip safari. today. A safari. <laughs> Guys, I'm having a great holiday. Ah. Hey. These are my sunglasses. You want to see what it's like through them? It's cool. <laughs> I wouldn't know because I don't keep them on my face for more than two seconds and I'd rather eat them. Here's a cool little drive along the coast. Aren't we? we are. Oh. <clears throat> just kicked a, kicked a toy. The story of my life, tripping over toys. Um, but yeah, we're going to go for a nice long drive and have a look at some other parts of Crete, which will be really nice. Our car for the day, our little ride, our Jeep. I'm a little bit nervous about Jamie driving on the wrong side, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Just about to pop Noah in his car seat and we are good to go on our little road trip. Ready, Noe? Ready for our little road trip? asleep in the back I was just saying to Jamie we're going through the town centre at the moment and I feel like I'm in the real life version if you know on your theory test to pass your um, to get your driving license <laughs> has a perception that's it I said that, didn't you? oh sorry I didn't hear you I feel like we're on I feel like we are filming a hazard perception video and you know where the car really slows down and there's like a sheep in front of you or like someone's walking in the road or a car's pulled out or like you have to spot all the dangers feel like we are living that it's crazy isn't it it's not so fun. many people have just like <laughs> just like really casually walk out in front of the car cars just kind of drift across the road um but yeah we look okay it doesn't really look tight should we play spot the dangers <laughs> That van. It'd be easier to play spot the non-danger. Oh, boop! Whoa. <laughs> I'm thinking it's my blood pressure. My Apple Watch is going off the clock. Are you anxious? <laughs> Not only are you nice. driving the wrong side of the road, you've also got to literally be on full-on alert. Oh wow, there's a little market there. That looks cool. I love all the mountains and the little villas. I love trying to villa what spot. Does in... mean? I'm not sure. What's, what's this guy doing? <laughs> what, what does blinking do amber mean? <laughs> I love trying to villa spot in the mountains and like trying to like get a good look at the ones right at the top. It's one of my hobbies. I love it. arrived our first stop Cato Elonda Cato Elonda Hello Cato Elonda You waving <laughs> Hello, Hello everyone. Trees at home 
it's not quite as impressive as these. <laughs> we were saying our olive tree looks so sad at home compared to all of the lovely ones well, here. What's so precious about it? I know. That big. <laughs> With two, like two leaves, no olives. <laughs> <laughs> Noah's having a look at the menu, deciding what he wants for lunch. We've got a lovely view. Our new thing is when we come into a restaurant, we are like obsessed with looking at what high chairs that they have because Noah's like super happy in like a nice padded, comfortable high chair. Whereas the wooden ones that you get where they can slide through, he doesn't sit in for very long. Look at this one. I feel like I need one of these at home. How gorgeous is that high chair? Cheers. <laughs> He's trying to lick glass, Noah. Did you get some? Drunk. Did you get some beer? This is what he does every time Jamie has beer, he just licks the glass. Look at him in his little chair, eating his Cheerios. Do you want to pick another one? Do you want to pick one? Do you want to pick a Cheerio? <laughs> The little legs kicking under there. Oh, darling. Wow, which one are you going to pick? Oh, that looks like a good choice. <laughs> We've ordered some appetizers. We've got some bruschetta, garlic bread, which is actually for Noah, <laughs> and some halloumi. Looks delicious. Noah's favourite thing is currently a pump <laughs> that we used to pump up his little flow. He absolutely loves it. And for me, I got grilled chicken and Jamie got another pizza. You got a prosciutto pizza <laughs> yeah, I know, today. Yeah, had the stone baked, so I had oh, to. Yeah, you're a sucker for a stone baked, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Noah's still enjoying his pump oh. over there. Pick your battles. Pick your battles. day here in Crete. It's still super warm though. I think it's still like 21 so it's still really nice to be outside but very overcast and quite windy again. Good morning! Just enjoying a latte on our little patio area. Um, Jamie's just getting Noah to sleep in here so I need to sleep quietly. It is currently half past 11. We've been for breakfast this morning, went for a little walk. Um, just got us some coffees from a little bar. Did you guys last see us? Yesterday we went on our little road trip. Best day ever, literally my favourite day of the holiday so far. So nice just to get out and about, explore somewhere new. Um, love being in a car abroad as well. I mean, I wouldn't have liked to be the driver, so I'm very thankful for Jamie being the driver. But it was nice just to look around. Um, and I love a car journey, I find it really relaxing, so. We loved yesterday, so much so that we've actually booked the same car for tomorrow and we're going to do the same sort of thing, drive somewhere new, stop for some lunch, have a look around. Then this afternoon I have a massage booked which I'm so excited about. There's a spa like underground in this hotel and it's beautiful, like so lovely. Um, and I've gone for this like relaxation package and you get like an all body scrub um, and then you like get to relax in all of the oils and apparently it's got like all of the, the herbs from Crete in. I'm sure she said it's got like Crete herbs in or something like that. I could be completely wrong. Um, and then I'm having a full body massage and a facial. I can't wait. I'm really, really excited. Yeah.
afternoon everyone it is now the next day the last time i checked in with you all was yesterday morning and then i went for my massage which was amazing it was the nicest massage i've ever had um and then we went for our little evening stroll we went to we went out for dinner we went to our favorite place that we went a few nights before where i had the salmon jamie had the steak so we went there again which was so nice wasn't it you had that burger oh, have you got some sage oh it smells so nice oh my goodness so we've got the car again today so we've come out on a little road trip and we've stopped at this really beautiful place i'll show you in a minute but it smells of sage like the minute i got out the car i said to jamie it smells just the air smells like sage it's so nice and he just picked me a bit and jamie's classic answer was what sage because he thinks all herbs are what do you call all herbs basil like literally coriander equals basil parsley equals basil like he just thinks every herb is a basil <laughs> look how nice it is park the car and come for a little walk and it's lovely here let me find out the let me find out where we are we are in istron and it's lovely so last night we had a bit of, of turn of events so without making it a really long story short i very stupidly bought one box of formula i had in my head that i wanted to bring two tubs but then i decided to bring one here, i'm not gonna go skidding through the stones yeah, i know what you're like can we take you <laughs> she Don't says catch it on camera thank you kind gentlemen <laughs> didn't bring enough formula for Noah I never thought we'd get through an entire tub in one week but at the beginning of the holiday he was just drinking so many bottles um, like we we're talking like eight to ten a day which is so unheard of these days and we ran out of formula so we had to buy some formula from the local supermarket and they only had like two choices and I was already really worried about hi hey yeah I was already really worried about switching his formula because he's always been on the same since birth um, but I thought it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And then he had his first bottle last night before bed and I had such a bad gut feeling about it. And Jamie thought I was being paranoid, didn't you? And- I thought you were just, because you'd given him the different milk, I thought you were paying extra attention to small little signs. Yeah, he was coughing a lot. He was but, gagging. <laughs> you nearly Mommy just fall over. Chris, <laughs> <laughs> no, you No, I didn't pressure ah. you. No, I didn't fall. <laughs> I went- oh, oh. Come. Jamie be careful so once I gave Noah his bottle I could hear his belly rumbling and he was like coughing a lot and almost gagging and I was like he's gonna be sick and the entire night he spent being sick and was awake pretty much the whole night so I think we've maybe had about 40 minutes of sleep since yesterday but it's fine it's absolutely fine we power through we just be zombies for the day um, and Noah's not feeling great today he just seems like really what? under the weather doesn't he oh, we uh, solved the problem. We did solve the problem. So, top okay. tip for any of you guys going on holiday if your baby's on formula, take extra formula number one. Like, take two, three tubs. If you use Cowangay or Aptamil, there is a brand of milk, which I'll pop on screen because I can't remember the name, but it looks like Aptamil, that you can buy pre-made formula and it's basically the same up. as Aptamil and Cowangay. So, we bought some of that this morning tried Noah on it and he's been absolutely fine so thank thank the Lord it's now been solved which I'm very thankful about because oh the thought of having a poorly baby on holiday scares me to death like the thought of that is just so scary and last night I was like oh my god and last night I thought it had a temperature it was just a bit worrying so we're all good today and um, we still feel a little bit under the weather but we've decided to come out just for a nice walk grab some lunch in a little while so this is where we are Look how beautiful it is. So peaceful, you can hear the birds, smells of sage, it's lovely. And on the way here, it may look beautiful and sunny now, but on the drive here, it was pouring down with rain and there was all like mist on the mountains. It genuinely felt like it was autumn in the Peak District and I thought only I could come to Greece and it feel like autumn and be raining. It was lovely, I very much enjoyed it.
I wish you guys could smell this right now. It's the scent of sage that's honestly just making it for me. It smells so fresh. Oh, it's beautiful. You can just see the very top of Jamie and Noah's head, which is making me feel very nervous. All I can see is just like the tops of their heads here and then the sea. <laughs> Noah has just gone to bed and he is literally through those doors right there and the last thing I want to do is wake him up. I've just had the loveliest bath, got all ready for bed, finally got a chance to use the jacuzzi bath that we have. Um, Noah's had a bath every single night in the little jacuzzi bath and it's looked so nice, I've been so jealous and I've been absolutely dying to get in there so I thought right, so last night I'm going to have a little jacuzzi bath so just got all ready for bed and I think we're actually gonna go to sleep soon. It's currently half past eight. Jamie's just getting into bed after his night rituals. Would you like to tell everyone your night rituals? My foot wash. Every single night before bed. This is not just a holiday thing. This is literally his night routine. He comes to bed, he brushes his teeth and he washes. Do you know what? Something else has really Sometimes been annoying me this entire out. holiday. What? Why do you brush your feet before you get into bed every night really loudly? <laughs> do it. Listen, this is what I hear every night before bed. It's not like that, is it? Why? What is that? Because I don't want, like, fluffing stuff off the floor in the bed. What fluff? Or, like, sand or anything. What sand? The room gets cleaned every day. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, anyway. He goes in the shower and just rinses his feet every single night before bed. It feels so fresh. Does it freshen you up before bed? Does anyone do that with you? I think the most common answer is going to be no. <laughs> <gasps> Hello. Noah's doing this thing at the moment where, well, pretty much throughout the entire holiday he's woken up. I'd probably set up five times a night. So the place we went for dinner earlier, we drove by it and we thought it looked really nice. So we decided to go in um, and the view was beautiful. Like the actual setting of where it was and like the feeling of it just was so nice. Mm -hmm. And then we got seated and then we were given a menu that was a literal book and at that moment I knew we had messed up. And I feel like when you get a menu that big you know that it's a Gordon Ramsay kitchen nightmares situation. So as soon as we got that big menu in, like the menu was a little bit like, it was just a bit old and like it was like a, like a yellowy colour, like it was an old menu. So anyway, we ordered food. Um, Jamie went for what did you have? Like a chicken, uh, a chicken skewer. It was called um, 
Super lucky. Did was it nice? Yeah, it was nice. Um, I made a bit of a silly decision. I really fancy like when I'm on holiday, I like to have fish, so like salmon. I oh. love the sizzly prawns, but I didn't have them because they're more of like a Spain thing. The sea was right there. Exactly. So as we were looking out <laughs> over the sea, I just thought seafood. <laughs> so I ordered the grilled prawns and Jamie when they came out. The smell. They smell weird. Like it. <laughs> it was like it was such a, a potent strong I know what it was it's like not a fishy the, smell they've been in the freezer too long <laughs> Chul restaurant though was beautiful wasn't it yeah. i said to jamie it's actually such a shame because it's like such you guys would have seen it earlier but like it was just a beautiful beautiful restaurant would have been really nice at night like with the festoon lights i love a festoon light. there's a strange thing it's like it, it was chips that were soaked in <laughs> smart ketchup so for us for like an appetizer. <laughs> a lady brought out some bread. Oh, I love, love a bit of bread. Love a bit of bread and the nice little dips. Oh, we got cake. Um, this one as well. We did. Mm -hmm. So they brought out bread and like an olive kind Sweet of like um, an olive like paste. And then there was this bowl of like French fries that were cold in mixed with like tomato ketchup and cherry tomatoes. It was strange, wasn't it? Oh, it went, it was like a tomato sauce. It was a strange concoction though. Yeah, the restaurant, the actual restaurant, I would give a good, it was a good eight, of ten, eight out of 10, like the, the location, the setting, but the food, yeah, the, a the two. Setting, the setting was like nine. It's so nice. My loves, that is gonna go ahead and end our holiday vlog. We head home tomorrow, so tomorrow's just going to consist of packing, heading to the airport, and then getting home to see our cats. Hope you've all enjoyed spending the week with us, and I will see you all next Sunday for a brand new vlog. Bye-bye. Bye-bye from Greece. See you when we're back in Greece. the UK. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Bye.